presenting the nasometer. Hello ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be learning about the nasometer 6450. It would be really great if the nasometer would turn on and everything would be up and running by itself. Poof! But sadly, it's not that simple. This is the headset. This is the headband. This is the harness. These are the adjustment knobs down here. You can see the microphones for the oral and nasal acoustic energy. This is the speaker. This is the nasometer 2 external hardware box. This is the separation plate. And the headset sits vertically with the microphones facing the speaker. So I'm going to do that now. To minimize reflections from the calibration tone, the headset's headband and harness need to be directly behind and far away from the microphones during calibration. So make sure it's all the way behind, directly behind and far away. So you don't want it like this, so all the way behind. Make sure the gain on the nasometer 2 hardware model is set to the minimum calibration position. And you want to turn it on. So after turning on the computer, you go to the nasometer 2 icon on the laptop and double click. And then you place the headset that has this little latch onto the nasometer machine. And the nasometer has a bar down below. You'll be able to insert it right there and push it straight back. The speakers should be directly in line with the receiver. The headset can't get in the way. And also it shouldn't be facing anything electronic. There should be no cell phones or anything around because it interferes with the signal. And then you're going to push the calibrate button. Make sure it's on. We're going to push the calibrate button. I'll tell you what you do after that though because once I push that it's going to be loud and you won't be able to hear. <laughs> so you're going to come over to the options button and then click calibrate nasometer. So you push the calibrate button and then on the options menu calibrate nasometer. Point ninety-eight. Anything between point nine and one is okay for calibration. Okay, so before you place an nasometer headset on the patient, you always want to make sure you wipe it off with an alcohol wipe. So make sure you wipe off the top part where the nose touches, the bottom part where the lips touch, the mouth can touch, and then the middle part that goes against the skin anything that touches the patient's mouth. Make sure that you don't touch the speakers with the alcohol wipes. Okay, and then these knobs loosen so that you can fit it appropriately. So make sure the, lob the knobs are somewhat loose before you put it on so that way it's easy to adjust while you put it on. So you're gonna start by placing the, part that the face mask part right in between the lip and the nose and then place the forehead band right on the forehead and velcro the back part. And then first you want to tighten the knobs to adjust it to fit the front and the back of the head. And then these knobs that keep this part secure. And then you always want to make sure that it's not too tight. So does that feel okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. It feels very secure. Okay. Good. After the headset's in place, make sure that the passage that you want is up because the patient is going to read it from here. If it's a child, you can repeat sentences or phrases at the level that they're comfortable with. So the first line is, look at this book with us. If it's a child that has a hard time um, with articulation, then you could say, look at this book with us and make sure you press stop every time you speak and record every time they speak. 
<laughs> make sure that the data correlates with what the passage the passage norms. Okay. And then before you start recording, you make sure that this window is highlighted. You know that it's highlighted because there'll be a red beam in there. You know that it's not because this one will be highlighted. So you make sure that this one is before you start recording. F12 starts the recording. Spacebar stops the recording. So for example, if you were going to say, do parts of it for a child, you'd say, look at this book with us. Start when they say it, and then stop it, and then you can say the rest. Um, and then in order to get the results, you do alternate and save. So we'll do a sentence first so you can see, and then we'll get the results for you. Ready? Just the first sentence. Look at this book with us. And you can see her nasal lens here. And it records. And here's the results. So you push alternate S and you get the mean right there. The time. All that stuff. And then we have norms printed up for you on our PowerPoint so you can compare your mean norm. Your mean norm. So this is the zoo passage that she did right there.